Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw17 bringing you another CH2 replay. This is a change from the clusterfuck of a 4v4 down to a more simple, more micro-intensive 1v1 on Ongoville with Silent Celine versus Naganal. I think that's the thing that everyone's really upset about in Harry Potter, but I could be wrong. Apparently a snake can't be Asian. That's that that's weird. Nor can they Pe nor do people can wait to judge a movie before it comes out. To be fair, I've judged plenty of movies, but I'm just saying, especially plot-wise, maybe just give it a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time. Uh, that way, the movie comes out and you judge something on plot. If the thing looks stupid visually, I can make fun of it. But I, if 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 it's if it's hasn't if it if it's plot-wise, just wait. Because I remember when everyone got so goddamn upset about Jumanji about the outfits everyone was wearing, and then literally the movie comes out and everyone's like, "Oh, that was perfect." I'm like, "What? Well, why were you freaking? Oh my god, why why are you complaining now?" But in any case, let's get to it. So we got uh, special operations, which is really good at boosting your infantry. With again, you have stuff like passive infiltration, cap quicker captures, recon, really strong tank versing. Mechanized company. It's been a while since I've seen this. But the military truck's pretty good for, wow, well, being deployed. And as you can see, we can definitely see that with riflemen on the back. Just opening fire, charging down people. Very nice play. Again, Volk squads again being pushed out of cover and being taken out. Well, technically, these riflemen are in the best cover possible, even though really they're not. Goddamn, just running over everything. Knocked out the telephone pole. Oh my god, that man just jumped. Volk squads don't know what the fuck to do. They're trying to capture the point. But that being said, this thing is uh, stopping them from capturing it. Now, the Stern Pioneer should have enough firepower to knock out that truck. But unfortunately... Oh, wow. Yeah, they have additional Volk Squads, too. The truck needs to retreat. They're going to capture this in the meantime. He's going to pull back. Not as effective as I thought it would be. That military truck had to stay back. And it looks like he's going to capture some territory. Right now, the... Uh... Yeah, I'm looking right here. The Axis player... He's currently down. I guess he had to send all of his reinforcements to take there while this one rare echelon squad managed to capture everything. So good for him. Good for Silent. Folk making the OKW focus and clumping while he grabs a lot of resources. So anyway, truck's back up. Oh, God. For a second there, I thought I had a cap. But no, that disappeared real quick. Um, but in any case, I guess you can do it with the 50, 50 cal machine gun. Really? 155 millimeter barrage? Is that... Is, wait, is that vet 1? What, what is that? Vet 1? No, step on it. Uh, two and no, it's just wow. Okay, just later. Wow. Okay, getting out the men. You figured that he might try to get out with the Volk squad and take over the car. Though that would be fucking hilarious because again, it wouldn't really do well that much. But he's trying to hold multiple Volk squads and Bungster and Pioneer squad moving on in. Typically, a G the German player I would think would have advantage. Oh no, get behind the cover. Get in cover. You're not. It's gonna be worse for you. Uh, Volk squad. Uh, uh, don't have the fire grenades yet because they have yet to get that. Uh, this building, not great, as it doesn't have a ton of windows. It has two, but not amazing for efficiency. They're just really being shot at right now from multiple angles. So, nice job with the military car, just opening fire. Managing to hit him. Decap the point. Didn't take it for himself, though. We do have Verkenworth for moving on in with Volk Squad, so that can be pretty effective. Rifleman getting on out. Volk Squad's trying, but again, I love this. The Silence just capturing everything. Good on his part. Anyway, this also now is a 50 cal machine gun. But the Rakan is like, fuck you, and takes it out. It's a great shot. He might be able to actually kill that unit. That'll be a big blow for the American player if he if they can actually concentrate. Now, if I was uh, this guy, I'll say uh, Niganol, I would try to send all my units everywhere and try to capture as much territory as possible. Uh, to capture everything. So that's what I would try to do. Or maybe try to kill this rear echelon squad. Really kill anything. Because right now you'll let two rear, uh, two squads get out. And uh, you haven't really done all that much. So yeah, capture that. Uh, right now, but the allies are doing really well on fuel and resources. Has another truck, which I'm... You know what would be actually be a good counter? Just getting a Panzerfaust. Why the fuck haven't you put down your building? A Panzerfaust would easily be able to counter that stuff. But no, because you haven't done that... You don't unlock the Panzerfaust. So you're literally handicapping your own units. You didn't have to get another Verkettenwerfer. If you just get the building and 
you could do a medical that way you can heal your guys, keep them, you know, b at least slightly better than the American player in terms of health. You could honestly counter. Oh, here comes the American player back in full force, and uh, this guy is kind of separated all over the place. Maybe if he, if he was smart and saw this coming, he could move over. That way, the, the this for Ken Warfare can open fire on the side. Volk squad, though, uh, well, being hit by the flank by multiple guys. Yeah, Volk squad's just once again just hanging out. No, no way to counter that military truck because uh, why would it? <laughs> I love this. The, the 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 crew gets out to open fire. To be fair, they have some good close range weapons, so that's not a bad idea. And death. Man, amazing job. Fire grenade, though, going off. Hang the building. Again, very micro-intensive with everything going on, but if you can micro really well, damn, you're in a pretty good spot. Push the rifleman out, but alas, they're trying to focus fire on the unit, because again, they should try to knock that sucker out. They're sending over more reinforcements, which is great, but I swear if you throw that fire grenade on a rear echelon squad, eh, it may not be the best munition, because again, you're just... It's rear echelon squad. It doesn't take that much. Probably might have been better with the SUG 44s. Oh, you can't do it? Why? Because you haven't put it down at goddamn headquarters. So, that's that, that's your issue. Brigade Warfare trying desperately to hit that thing, but ring around the rosy that military truck is currently playing. Unless he does direct fire, I'm not going to do all that much. Oh, there it goes. Damn, that what? This is just an utter slaughter. I like how he's using the truck as cover. Oh my god, he got in it. Fucking great. That's hilarious. And there goes the truck. Just realizing it, it takes the individual to make a unit good. It's not just the, uh, the the vehicle itself. So, great job. Oh, now you put down the mechanized building. Actually, mechanized might not be too bad. You don't really have AT. Uh, Luke's would be amazing if you had the fuel. Unfortunately for you, you, you don't. I mean, good job of grabbing the star, but you have been doing relatively well. Cap-wise, you haven't been dominated too much. You'd probably be better to grab the resources than anything. Just saying. Anyway, kind of healing on up. We'll see what happens. But, uh, Rifleman moving on in. Capturing the territory. And Rashlon grabbing there. So, yeah, the, the American player is pretty much going to have everything. Holy macro. He's going to have... Yeah, he's going to have everything. Damn. Well, this is a quick replay. And it's just sheer dominance. Uh, the American's micro is on point. His unit uh, uh, his control of the units is great. The, uh, the OKW player just, I feel like he, if he would have just changed that build order a little bit and put down the headquarters, he could have Panzerfausted that thing and just knocked it out. And that would have really helped him stand the test. He could also then upgrade with SCG-44s. He could have got MG-34. He could have he really counteracted. Um, what the American player is deploying, but he's he's not really. And right now, good job with the American player cutting off their resources again. Take that so he doesn't get this, and then just grab what you can. Right now, this Verma OKW player, not Verma, OKW player is just really down. Also, okay, there we go. Decommissioned some of those uh, carcasses for some resources. But that being said, Lieutenant coming down the side, trying to mow him down, and actually doing a damn good job. Because with it, they should be able to win. Once again, get in cover. Yep, there he goes. He just moves up. Because again, why, why wouldn't he? Uh, you can throw in the infiltration grenades, and good job finally getting an MG to suppress. So, you know, nice job. But now that you have this guy's 50 cal machine gun, which, oh boy, enjoy those 50 cal rounds. Because they're going to be deadly. For Ken Warfare being annihilated by the 50 cal, because again, it's 50 cal machine gun. Nice job decommissioning. Now I'm assuming you're in deploy of Luke's. Which is going to be freaking hilarious, because as we can see, Bazooka Team. Bazooka Team. He's prepared for AT and also for Ken Warfare, along with the A half track. If he thinks the loops is going to be a saving grace or it, it, saving the action of this game, he's sadly mistaken. Uh, only if he had armor piercing rounds. Only if he had armor piercing rounds. Uh, deploy your loops. Come on, let's let's do this. Come on. There we go. We all knew you were going to do it. Oh wait, no, you stopped. Okay, why'd you stop? I'm actually, kind of curious. So with this. Hold on. Did you get a major yet? No, you're about to get a major. And actually, at this rate, if you got a major... Oh, no. He's going to keep the offensive going. He's going to get half-track. Okay. Not too bad. Why would you get this half-track? Oh, drop medical supplies. That's pretty good. I can't get an upgrade, though. But you can definitely transport, guys. Um, it's just decommissioned here? Uh, okay. 
Oh, okay, he got vet two already. So you increase. Oh, wow, you just made it really powerful by giving him the lieutenant. Not too shabby. And also, you get a bazooka team for AA. Here's a question. You're getting yourself a Puma? I think infantry is the bigger issue. But that being said, I swear to God, if this thing kills a Puma, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die laughing. This is going to be hilarious. Half track just keeping the Germans back. Again, this is the German player's last last offensive. His last hurrah. We'll see what happens. Come on. You can do it, guys. I believe. I, I really don't. I, re I really, really don't. Especially with this thing now being deployed with the bazookas. I... Oh, one more shot should kill it. Oh my god. Really? G fucking G. That wasn't even funny. That was dirty. And that was amazing. This is by far my favorite unit. Absolutely. freaking lootly A freaking... Again, this is like the Panzer Ideas with the half-track. It's just, well, a little bit more mobile. And there we go. That's game. Uh, so, look, sometimes I, I can have a really long game and it showcases a bunch of, you know, stupid mistakes, stuff like that. And sometimes I want to show a game with quick, decisive gameplay with great tactics. Like his armor gameplay, he had light armor that the OKW should have easily countered, but the OKW didn't. And, yeah, that he just outplayed the OKW every single step of the way. So, nice job, Silent Celine. Good job. But in any case, let's double check kills, and yeah, I think we can see who did better. Just just point it out. Uh, but in any case, guys, that's game. A uh, nice little game for you guys. But in any case, it's been a great shot, 117, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone, and before I go, I want to give a shout out to Patreon supporters Sam Smith, Matthew Leppin, Only Play Apples, White Hot D, Sergeant McPain, Ollie, Joey G, Ace, Jordan Chavit, Flippy Hara, Michael Pearson, Nathan Angus, Aaron Yi, Tim, and Leo Lou. Thank you so much for your awesome support, guys. You guys rock. This has been Grayshot17. I'll see you all next time.